Martin, we know that uh, injuries have forced your hand when it comes to picking this team. You've had some fast-track players you might have wanted to keep for the future. Does that excite you or concern you? Well, you're saying that I can't pick guys who are injured, which is true, and I'm yeah. pick the next guys in. So <laughs> that's the way it is. Um, it does give guys opportunity. I said uh, earlier in the week, look at last year, Dellen came in. Uh, when a couple of guys went down, Dallin Armitage and played fantastically well. Now he's injured, someone else gets a chance. Uh, there's an opportunity for those guys. But we, you know, we're going to pick our best team of people who are available. Um, we've got a good balance. Look at the front row. You know, there's, there's Davy in there who we wanted to get into the squad. Um, had a few injury problems over the last year or so. Um, but, you know, two or three caps with Steve Thompson who's come back who's, who's near 50. So there's, there's, uh, there's good balance throughout the team, I think. Great. Could I ask you a question? I mean, Australia, 12 Always. months ago, outfoxed England a couple of times. Um, why is it going to be different this time? I know there's no Al Baxter this time, but I mean, if you didn't, they quite often bring a bag of tricks with them, don't they, Australia, at scrum time? Or what are you suggesting? <laughs> well, what, you, what steps have you, have, you, have you taken? You told us last year you weren't prepared to coach cynicism. Has there been anything different this year? <laughs> still, still not uh, prepared to coach that. Look, they're, they're, I know it's been said a lot this week. I think Wells has said yesterday, much improved scrum, full stop they are. We saw that last Saturday in Japan, where they made life very uncomfortable for New Zealand on four or five occasions. Got a lot of respect for them. Uh, we're still developing. And I like to think from last year, we've learned a lot, I've learned a lot as a coach. So uh, to, yeah, Saturday, a different proposition. Start of the Autumn Internationals against Australia. How do you assess this challenge, first of all? Um, it's a great challenge. You know, we've got three games, um, pretty tough games, Australia, Argentina and New Zealand. Um, obviously, we're only looking at the Australia game to start off with. They're a, a well-coached, well-organised team and um, perhaps not in the, the top form that, that they'd like at the minute, but they've got a lot of threats across the pitch and they're a dangerous team. What differences do you see, first of all, in your opponents from the team you faced last year? Uh, I think they've obviously had a change of personnel uh, as we have, uh, but I think you know they've still got some key cornerstone guys like Matt Gitto. You know he's obviously a quality, quality player. Um, El Rocky Elsom's back. You know he adds a, a big ball carrying element for them. He's been playing outstanding well for, for Leinster when he played for them. So you know what they've lost in some areas, they've gained in others. So you know it's just another massive challenge for us. And a great test of rugby coming up with Argentina and New Zealand to follow. Absolutely, it's going to be an interesting series. Um, you know, Argentina certainly aren't a minnow anymore. They're one of the you know one of the best teams in the world, and uh, um, so none of the games that we're taking for granted certainly. And it's just, but you know, we've we've been concentrating on on Australia, and uh, we're really just looking forward to it.